In this video, we'll look at the net ionic equation for NaCl plus KNO3 and figure out if there's a precipitate that is formed in this reaction. So let's start off by making sure this is a balanced equation. As we look at it, it looks like everything's the same on both sides. So it's a balanced equation. We're good there. We should also write the states in for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, chlorides and sodium compounds are very soluble, AQ. Nitrates, very soluble, AQ. We have another nitrate here, AQ. And we said chlorides are soluble, potassium compounds in general, very soluble, AQ. So what happens at this point is all of this here, everything's soluble. So we haven't formed any solids or gases or liquids. There's no new product being formed. If we looked at all of the ions, that would look like this. And all of these would be aqueous. So I start out with these four ions and I end up with exactly the same four ions. So nothing changed. This is no reaction. No chemical reaction had taken place. If we were writing a net ionic equation, we would call these all spectator ions and we'd cross them out. So Na, Cl, K, NO3, nothing happened. There's no reaction. So for NaCl plus KNO3, no precipitate forms and there's no reaction. This is Dr. B looking at the net ionic equation for NaCl plus KNO3 and whether a precipitate formed in the reaction. There's no precipitate. Thanks for watching.